Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the west side of the arena for a special presentation with Senior Executive Vice President Wayne Mesmer. And a good evening, Wolves fans. Welcome to a very special night here at the Allstate Arena as we honor Wolves' former general manager, Kevin Sheveldayoff. <laughs> Joining in the celebration tonight, hockey operations, Mike Nardella. Head trainer, Kevin Kaser. The equipment manager, Craig Kogut. Assistant General Manager Bill Bentley. Senior Advisor and Director of Hockey Operations Gene Ubriaco. General Manager Wendell Young. And finally, Vice Chairman Buddy Myers. and Chairman of the Board, Don Levin. Now let's welcome our guests of honor, Kevin Sheveldayoff and his wife, Janet, and the kids, Chase and Lexi. Fans, Kevin Sheveldayoff was the architect of all four Chicago Wolves championship teams. In 12 seasons as our general manager, he racked up a staggering number of accolades for the organization, including four division titles, five conference championships, two Turner Cup championships, and two Calder Cup championships. During his tenure, no Wolves team posted a losing record and the club made the playoffs in 10 of 12 seasons. Chevy's success as a leader extends far beyond his 12 seasons with the Wolves. He came to the organization fresh off a pair of back-to-back -back Turner Cup championships with the 1995 Denver Grizzlies and the 1996 Utah Grizzlies. And he went on to capture the Stanley Cup as a member of the Chicago Blackhawks organization in 2010. Chevy continues his winning ways as a general manager of the National Hockey League's Winnipeg Jets, where he guided that team to a winning record in its inaugural season last year, his first as an NHL general manager. Chevy Dayoff has a proven track record as a champion both on and off the ice. Tonight we recognize him for bringing that standard to the Chicago Wolves, a consummate professional, respected leader, and trusted friend. We were privileged to have him here for 12 years. Please join in a round of applause for one of the men who helped define the Chicago Wolves as a winning franchise, Kevin Sheveldayoff. <laughs> Kevin, fans, let's take a look at the video board for some special messages for some of your friends who unfortunately could not be with us tonight. Well, Chef, you got to know this is an important event today because I'd normally be on the golf course given that it's 70 above here in New York, but this is a special occasion for you. And you know, a lot of people, Chef, are going to say, this guy was really lucky, or this guy had a great owner, or he had tutelage under Butch going. Well, none of those things are really true because Right from day one, you're a guy that showed you were sincere, you were hardworking, you were dedicated. And I remember times when you were on the bus back in the days when you were playing in the American Hockey League and a lot of guys were playing cards, other guys were playing with their computers and such. What were you doing? You were busy studying. So you were destined to do some great things and most of all, you worked awful hard to get yourself in this position. So your success didn't come by just as a fluke. You certainly earned it. Congrats, Chevy, on the banner. Well, well deserved. And uh, thanks for all your help. And uh, thanks for all the fans to helping me out when uh, when I was playing there. All right, hey, Chev. I wanted to take this opportunity to congratulate you on your big night uh, back with the Chicago Wolves. 
Usually I'm short-winded in things like this. I've had a lot of things rolling through my head about uh, exactly what to say, and a lot of things come to mind. Um, not to mention David the, David, the Wolves are up by one, Cassidy, or a number of other things. The day Mike the Hat wouldn't let Jason McDonald off the, the wolf side of the thing, and he flipped him the bird. But the things that do come to mind are uh, the days uh, back in Brandon and, and uh, asking you your opinion when I was considering uh, switching from being a trainer, going to management, uh, meeting with you at the north end of the Winnipeg Arena, and uh, getting your opinion on it. You thought there would be no problem with it. Any idiot could do it. Um, so I took your advice and, and made the change. Um, I certainly haven't uh, been able to win the championships you did, but I've learned a lot from you over the, over the course of the years. And one thing uh, that's been proven uh, certainly in the last two years is that cats can live with dogs. You are currently now with uh, the uh, Winnipeg Jets and Scott Arneal is now coaching the Chicago Wolves and I don't think anybody ever would have thought those two things would have taken place. So without saying too much more, uh, this is a very, very well-deserved honor. I'm not surprised that the Chicago Wolves and Don Levin would do this for you. And um, I'm honored to be asked to say a few words. And um, I'm sure the Wolves will win tonight um, with you there in the building. Hey, Chevy. Uh, congrats uh, on uh, being honored on the Wolves organization. And uh, I know how much you have done uh, uh, for them. And, uh, you know, thanks. Uh, what you have done for me the last couple of years and uh, it was a great to win uh, the Calder Cup with you and uh, I'm looking forward to do the same thing and uh, win the Cup uh, in Winnipeg. Kevin, congratulations on having your name raised to the roof in Allstate Arena. There is no one in that organization more deserving than you. You're a great example that championships do not happen by accident. Your commitment to winning, your encouragement and your leadership led the teams that I played on to great, great seasons. You are still today one person that I would go through a wall for. Congratulations and have a great night. Hi Chevy, congratulations on a special night. You should be very proud of all your accomplishments uh, throughout your hockey life, especially here with the Wolves. Done an outstanding job managing them, the several championships. We're fortunate to have you here, come here with the Blackhawks. I want to thank you for all the help you provided me and the organization. And we have something special to share as well. That 2010 championship uh, is something I'm very fond and proud of as well. Um, enjoy the night. Uh, enjoy Janet and your family as well. She'll be very proud of this evening and throughout your, your career. And uh, good luck in the future, Chevy. Hi, Chevy. And hello, Wolves fans. Woo! <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. At any rate, Chevy, I'm so excited and so happy for you and your family to have this special evening together. It's awesome. Really, really awesome. Can you believe in 1997 when we first met, we would spend 11 years together. Six finals, four championships. It has been just an absolute pleasure to work with you for that long. I knew when I first met you, you coming from Utah and Denver winning those championships, that you would bring some, something special to the Wolves. And I wasn't wrong. You brought work ethic, you brought dedication, and more importantly, you brought the championship feeling that the Wolves still have today. You were awesome in doing that, and that's why we're having a wonderful night for you here tonight. I just want to say, though, you know, after you left the Wolves, you still kept it going, got a ring with the Blackhawks. You got more rings than that guy used to drum for the Beatles. What's his name? What's his name? At any rate, listen, you know, it was a pleasure hanging with you for 11 years, and now I get the pleasure of hanging beside you up in the rafters of the Allstate, hopefully forever. Hey, great job, well-deserved evening. Enjoy it. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the chairman of the board of the Chicago Wolves, Mr. Don Levin. Thank you. Uh, on behalf of the Wolves organization, the, the players, the fans, the management, thank you for everything you brought here. Thank you for the joy. Thank you for the championships. Thank you for the excitement. <clears throat> I think all Chicago remembers Kevin Shovel Layoff. The years and years from now, you'll be a name that people know in Chicago for what you brought to hockey. Thank you for that. On, on a personal note, I'd just like to thank you for being you. You're a great friend. You're a great father. You're a great wife. You're a great wife. You're a great husband. He's a great wife, Ashley. Yeah. Great, 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 great. Ah, talking too much. In any case, thank you for that. It's been a pleasure to be your friend. You've been a joy to my life. 
and I look forward to years and years of more friendship. Thanks, Chevy. Chevy, on behalf of the Chicago Wolves organization and its wonderful, great fans, Donovan, Buddy Myers will present this to you. And it is a jersey commemorating tonight and the ceremony and simply to show our appreciation for who you are and what you've done. Now, Wolves fans, let's take a look at the video board for some memories and moments during Chevy's tenure with the Chicago Wolves. Wolves fans, the man of the hour, Kevin Sheveldayoff. Thank you very much. Thanks, Wayne. It's great to be here tonight. Um, great to have my family with me. Great to be with my family here in Chicago. Wayne, I can't wait to hear you sing the Star Spangled Banner that sent chills down my spine for 12 years. It was the greatest way to start a hockey game here at the Allstate Arena. It's great to be back on the Allstate Arena ice. Great to see Pat Nagel, Harry Pappas. The, thank you to the Village of Rosemont. Thank you for making this one of the best arenas in the league to play in. So many great memories happened here for me and my family. You witnessed a few of them up there on the video. A lot darker hair, probably a lot more of it. But I'm a much better dresser now. It's great to be here with so many passionate fans, my entire Wolves family, my close friends from Hoffman Estates neighborhood that made sure, made sure that my house was TP'd after every championship. My friends from the Blackhawks, John McDonough, Stan Bowman, Jay Blunk, Al McIsaac. Great support from a great organization here in Chicago. When I first was told that the Wolves were gonna be having a ceremony in my honor, I was truly at a loss for words. And for people that know me well, that doesn't happen very often. After letting it soak in, after reflecting on how fortunate I have been to be part of such a great organization, after recalling all the wonderful years and memories that will live forever in my mind, after looking at each of the four championship rings, after reflecting on all the great lifelong relationships I have gained, the words simply began to flow. While this banner is a great honor for me and for my family, truly it is a symbol of one of the best organizations in all professional sports. For me, this honor represents what can be accomplished when you're so fortunate to work with so many great people. And for that, I am so very thankful. Don Levin, Buddy Myers, all I can simply say is thank you. Thank you for giving me my chance to run my own team, for giving me the support and the resources to do what needed to be done, to push me to levels that I didn't even know existed, for sharing your dream on how to run a successful franchise, and for supporting me when John McDonough and the Blackhawks called for permission for me to leave. Don, Kathy, Robert, Buddy, and Jill, you and your families will always be part of my family. As I put on one of my championship rings today from the Wolves for this very special day, I couldn't help but think about all the great players that have been a part of this storied franchise. For without them, the championships truly never would have happened. Without players like Wendell Young, sitting on the bench with a blown out shoulder in the championship game because we needed his leadership to pull us through. 
that I will never forget. Players like Steve Malte, Bob Nardella, Dan Plant, Darren Hadar, Brett Sterling, Steve Martins, Dan Snyder, and Tim Breslin, to name a few. Without them, there would be no championship banners. Without a great coach and a great friend like John Anderson, whose fire, passion, and genuine love of the game inspired and pushed each and every one of us every day, we would not know the true meaning of the strength of the wolf is the pack. If it were not for Gene Ubriaco, my mentor, the person from whom I learned so much about the game of hockey, and even more importantly, about life. Lessons that can only come from experiencing it firsthand, not from a book. This organization would not have reached the heights that it has if it weren't for you. Or Mike Nardella, the godfather of hockey for the Chicago Wolves. The man has forgotten more about hockey than I will ever know. The man that knew how to build team chemistry with his legendary lunches at the paint shop. And stories about legends of the game that he could be the only one that could tell. I'd like to thank Craig Kogut, Kevin Kaser, for the hard work and dedication to all 12 years of the, that I've been here. They made sure that our team was ready to play each and every night. To Noreen Gilner, who has always made sure that our office is in order and helped me get my job done. To a good friend, Adam Fox, who made sure that the advertising and tickets were sold and made sure that I needed a tough guy in the lineup each and every night. To Courtney Mahoney for her countless hours of charity work on behalf of the Wolves. Teaching the players the importance of giving back to the community as well. Making sure that the fan experience at the game is second to none in the league. And running programs like Adopt a Dog, which is running tonight. I have a dog at home named Turner. After the first championship, there was an Adopt a Dog here. He brings me joy and he reminds me of my Wolves family each and every day. All the coaches that worked with us over the years, Kenny McCutton, Rich Crom, Todd Nelson, Marty Howe, Don Granato, I thank you for being a big part of this organization. And then there's Bill Bentley, Uncle Bill. I can't thank him enough because he was the one that had the toughest job of it all to make sure that I didn't screw anything up. He knew me so well that he knew what I needed done before I even asked him. To my family, my wife Janet, my son Chase, my daughter Lexi, thank you. Without all your support, all of this wouldn't be possible. Without your support, I never would have been able to chase my dream. To my mom, my dad, my brother, I thank you for helping me develop the love of the game. And finally, to you, the fans, what can I say? You guys are the best. Thanks for making this a special night for me, a night that I'm sure will last in my lifetime, in my memories forever. And I know that this organization, there'll be many, many more nights to celebrate. So thank you very, very much. Wolves fans, Chevy, let's do the honors. Unveil the banner that will be hung here in the All-State Arena for years to come.
What a wonderful ceremony here at All State Arena for the Architect of Four Championship, Kevin Cheveldayoff. My partner, Billy Gardner, you've been with the Wolves for a long time. You've known Chevy on and off the ice uh, from your playing days. What uh, can you surmise is the number one thing that makes him such a winner? His ability to treat everybody the same. As a general manager, I think there's a mystique or a persona about individuals that are the upper crust. But Chevy had time for everybody. He talked to anybody and everybody. And I seriously miss morning skates. We don't travel as much as we used to. Mm -hmm. And I loved going to opposing buildings the day of the game and the morning skate, just sitting with him and a couple of others just chatting about hockey. And there's no uh, better person to sit with about the game of hockey to you know, hash a few things that happened last night or around mm -hmm. the league, anything like that. Uh, I really do miss that uh, time with him. Um, and he's just a genuine person and obviously a student at the game and, and a student of the game also. I mean, he just knew everything that was going on and uh, that's why he's where he's at. Uh, a phenomenal career, a first round draft pick that never played in the National Hockey League, had a lot of injuries, but look what he did mm -hmm. away from the game, not on the ice. It's just a tremendous, short span of time. Yep, certainly he has had a golden touch. We're moments away from the anthem at Buck Drop. We'll step aside for a brief moment.